In this advanced Microsoft Sway video, I want to show you how to create Microsoft Sways by either starting from a topic or starting from a pre-existing document. Let's first look at start from a topic. So I'll click there. And now I just enter a topic that I'm interested in and Microsoft Sway will help us get started. In my previous video that you should definitely watch if you haven't already done so, I showed everything you need to know to get started using Sway effectively to create presentations, web pages, etc. And the topic I used was synth pop, which is my favorite kind of music. The subject of this Sway that I want to create is about probably the most famous and possibly most successful synth pop band, Depeche Mode. Now that I've typed that in, I can just tap enter on the keyboard or click create outline. And Microsoft Sway does a lot of background work to automatically create a Sway on this topic. I'm gonna click play just to see what Sway came up with. Sway chose a background image of the current Depeche Mode, the more recent version of Depeche Mode, and it chose a font for the title of this Sway. It looks like there's some basic information probably pulled from Wikipedia. There's history, along with some images, style and influences, legacy. And you can see that Sway chose a template with a texture that it thought went with the topic. Now, I'm not completely happy with the results of this automatically generated Sway. So all I have to do is click Edit, and I can make the changes that I want to. I can get rid of this statement, for example, just by clicking on it and clicking the Delete button. I could add to the text here to give more background about the band. I could add in specific images that I want to include. I can do that simply by clicking insert and choosing some of this automatically suggested content, or I could search for something related to this topic, and then I can click to add that additional content in. This Sway is automatically saved. At this point, I can play the Sway again to see how my new content fits with the other content, and I could make adjustments if I want to change the order, the emphasis, or anything else. If I'm ready to share this basically automatically created web page and presentation, I can click share and it gives me the information about how to share that with the world or with specific people if I prefer. I'm just going to click edit at this point and I'll click on Sway to go back to my Sway homepage. So I like to think of this start from a topic as kind of a shortcut to get me past some of the initial stages of creating a Sway. I can just fast forward through those things. It'll automatically choose some pictures that I may or may not want to use. It'll put in some text with fonts that are automatically chosen and then I can make some adjustments if I want to. Now let's look at the option to start from a pre-existing document. So I'll click start from a document and I'm gonna choose a PowerPoint presentation that I made some time ago about el transporte, transportation, words, and vocabulary in Spanish. Once I've selected that, Microsoft Sway is going to do its thing. It's gonna to try to convert that into an online web page in Microsoft Sway. It can take some time, probably about a minute and a half have transpired since I uploaded the document. But at this point, my PowerPoint presentation has been converted into a Microsoft Sway. You can see a lot of my images came through. The presentation doesn't have a lot of text, but let's click play and see how it turned out. It looks like even though a lot of my text and images came through, there's some other content that I don't understand why it's there in my Sway, like this brick wall and some of the blank blue screens. So I can simply click to delete the ones that I don't want, that I don't need, and then I can continue to work on this Sway. I can add more content to it, maybe put in hyperlinks by simply typing text, highlighting the text, and then clicking this button to hyperlink to a website. Click OK. Now I've created a hyperlink. And now at this point I can click play. There's my presentation. If I want to change the design, which I do, I can do that. I can change the style so that it's horizontal or change some of the other presets for this presentation. I can also try this remix button. I can change it to slides. There's lots of ways that I can adjust this sway that was created out of a PowerPoint. I'm gonna stick with this. Let's take a look at how it looks. There's my title slide. There's the next one, the next one. So how is this different than a PowerPoint? Because I chose to use slides, it seems quite similar to PowerPoint, but one major difference is this is a web page. Anyone that has that link will be able to access my beautiful presentation. I'm gonna click Edit and Sway to go back to the main Sway page. 
And so in addition to just creating a sway completely from scratch, the way that I showed in my previous sway video, in addition to that great option, we have these other two, start from a topic and start from a document. And both of these are real shortcuts that can help you get started on your sway very quickly and then you adjust it, you edit it to make it exactly how you want it to be. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about how to do that in the description below the video.